Okay, so I'm getting straight into my surprise Valentine story. <coughs> so Saturday, Valentine's Day, I went to work. And I went to work and I was wearing what I was going to wear that night, which wasn't like anything special, but I was dressed up for work. Um, And it was like 12 o'clock and... Like, this one guy came in, and when he was talking to me, he was like, he couldn't talk, and he was like, dropping his money, and I was like, everything, you know, everything okay? And he was like, yeah, no más es que usted me pone nervioso, and I was like, yo no estoy diciendo nada, más que tomando el pago. And, like, he was like, trying to fight with me or something, and then even when I gave him his receipt, he was like, you can go ahead and put your number on there, and I was like, uh, haha, -ha, you know, like, not trying to be rude. And then he left, and not even 10 minutes he came back, because he was, um, so that he forgot to, that he forgot something. And then, I was like, okay, and then you know it was Valentine's Day, so every customer that came in was like, oh, what are you doing tonight, or what are your plans? And then I was like, no, I'm stuck here to work till 5. And I don't know why I said 5, I just said 5, even though I know I was going to be there later. And then, um, when the, the girl that I work with was like, Si, sí, va a salir a las cinco so you can come, um, get her at five. But obviously, she's like, she was kidding. Like, kidding. Well, okay, so I went on with my day about work. And then it was like, a couple minutes before five. And this motherfucker comes in to my job. And not to offend anyone, like, how you guys dress as cowboys. But, like, you guys know my type of guy? Well, not my type of I mean, yeah, I guess my type of guys, like, you know, you got, like, square toe boots, you got, like, the big, um, tejana, sombrero, like, t-shirt, jeans, like, that's it. This motherfucker came in dressed like a don. He had, like, the tejanas de taco, and then <coughs> he had, like, the old-fashioned, like, squared shirts, flannel shirts, I mean, like, not cute, and he had, like, a saco on, like, Oh man, like wedding sacco with some jeans and some pointy boots with like these little bumps on them. I don't know what kind of piel it is, but like Durangense old style boots. And I was like, oh my god, like where is this motherfucker? Why is he here just like this? Where is he going? Oh, but he came in and he had a bouquet of flowers and like a box of like Ferrero Rocher chocolates. And I was like, oh my god, like what do I do? So he gave me them, and I was like, oh, we, you know, they're pretty. I was like, thank you. <clears throat> and then, like, the girl that I worked with and me, we were like, oh, what are, you know, what are your plans? And he was like, oh, I came to get you, so we go out to eat. And I was like, ha-ha. And I was like, see, I was like, so now you're going to be casa me pegan. And his face right there was like, like, he, like, he, he was like, oh, my God, I did not know you have, you had a boyfriend, or else I wouldn't have done this or whatever and I was like you see a ring on my finger and he was like no I really didn't I really didn't and then I guess he kind of felt bad and I was like I mean don't feel bad because boyfriend and not boyfriend I wasn't gonna go out to eat with you and then like we were trying to get this motherfucker out the store and then I was like si te va a venir mi novio por mi and then I was like ahorita que mire que llegue una de dos mil quince cheyenne ese es mi novio but after I was just messing around with him and tell me why that motherfucker like went and parked his car where we could see it because we couldn't see where he was parked at like he was trying to show off his like old ass like expedition tahoe or something i don't know but he was like trying to show off and it was like then he was there for like 10 minutes and we were just like wondering where the fuck he was gonna go and i don't know if he expected me to like give him a hug or something for that but i was like um no well, anyways, to me, that was just really awkward, because it was awkward, but I guess that's good for him. He got, he's ballsy, right? Just meet a girl and take her some flowers. Well, anyways, I was supposed to get off at work at 7, and then Tato was going to come to my house, and I was like, okay, so I'm going to get home, put these flowers, put them on my kitchen table, and I was like, and I'll tell him tomorrow about the flowers, because... I don't want, like, I didn't want him to, like, get mad or something or to be like, you should have just thrown the flowers away. I'm like, flowers are flowers, you know? And 
I got off work like pretty late. It was like seven thirty. Well, later than I expected. It was like seven thirty, seven forty. And I texted him. I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "On my way to your house." And I was like, "Fuck, I'm on my way to my house." So when we got to my house, we got to my house at the same time. So I just left those flowers in my car, which thanks to Lily, I know that flowers can be in the cold. So I was like, "I'm just gonna leave them there," but I can never keep my mouth shut about stuff. So I went ahead and I told Chacho about the flowers on Valentine's night. And he was like, no, pues saca los chocolates. But anyways, I'm going to have to see that guy again if he ever goes back to the store. And um, that was my surprise Valentine's. I felt like I was pretty uh, hot stuff, you know. Having guys bring me flowers and chocolates on top of my boyfriend. Anyways. Glad you guys uh, stuck around to listen to me blab.